Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're hitting a little ballistic missile site by the North Koreans. Uh, it's protected by an SA-2, SA-3, lots of fighters and a whole lot of AAA. Uh, so we got our work cut out for us here today. We have off the nose here on data link and on radar, I'm seeing two fighters. I believe they're MiG-29s, obviously North Korean, and they are vector to intercept us. Now I'm carrying two 2,000 pound bombs, we're carrying uh, two harms, uh, a tank, three MRAMs, and a Sidewinder 9X. And so this is, in this scenario, I think what we're really going to be able to demonstrate is the versatility of the F-16. Uh, I got to make 29 here, Angel's 25, that's 25,000 feet and climbing. Uh, I have him locked, his uh, secondary guy, his wingman, or possibly his leader, I don't know. He looks like he's about 7 to 10 miles uh, to the rear of the first bandit. So therefore, I'm going to engage the first guy, we'll defend, we'll come back around and engage the second guy. I need to get nice and close to them because I want a nice probability of kill for these AMRAMs. I don't have too many to waste. And as you can hear, he's already locking me. So he clearly has me on his radar and he has me in a single target track. As does the secondary MiG, it would appear. Um, now, I got the first guy locked up at about 24 miles. We are 21,000 feet and climbing here. And we are getting nicely within parameters. Nice PK. You see that circle on my HUD getting bigger. As that circle gets bigger, it's a higher and higher probability of kill. Uh, and again, because I don't have so many AMRAMs, I really need this one to hit. So I'm going to get nice and close. I'm even going to let him shoot first. Okay, there's his shot. I'm doing that because I'm taking the chance that my AMRAM is better than anything he's shooting. Um, here we are at about 15 miles, 14 miles, Fox 3, and we'll defend. Okay, defending here at 13 miles, chaff and flare out. And we're diving down, dragging his missile into denser and denser air. And we're going to have to recommit here fairly quickly to shoot that second MiG-29, who is more than likely committing onto me now. As that first MiG defends the AMRAM, I shot at him. We saw him in the cons there, reducing his altitude pretty aggressively there. And I don't suspect that that guy will be alive much longer. Uh, he should be dead soon. I'm going to go ahead and recommit here. Uh, data link once again showing me at least well, yeah there's both still up on data link but i can see the secondary bandit in the rear uh, he's probably still up we're gonna go ahead and focus on him Okay, according to data link, we have one bandit who's fallen. I see, well, I saw big altitude drops there. We have the second bandit locked up here at 17,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and recommit onto him. The other bandit is not moving on data link, again, implying that he's kind of falling in place, uh, as would a, a shot down bandit. Uh, this guy shot at me at 13 miles. I'm gonna push forward. We're gonna get even closer here. Eleven miles, ten miles, Fox three, and we're off defending. Diving once again. Let's try to defend here. Uh, 
that those MiG 29s, they kind of strike me as being bonsai. Like they're just charging in, trying to get, trying to kill me no matter what. Uh, luckily for me, those AMRAMs are hitting them right in the face. Almost seems like they're on like suicide missions. Just charging in and shooting all their missiles. <laughs> Uh, oh, I gotta make 29, 1 o'clock. It's a third make 29, he's shot at me. Uh, they had a little bit of an ambush set up here, it seems. Those two guys were the bait, that's why they were high. A third make 29 came in low. And he shot a missile at me. I'm gonna try to recommit over here, because it looks like that missile lost track or hit a tree. Forgot how heavy my F-16 is. I'm gonna point my nose over here and see if we can get a lock. Okay, there's the lock. Fox 3. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a Fox 2. I accidentally wasted my Sidewinder there. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, the Sidewinder is gone. I have one AMRAM left. That's fantastic. I went to dogfight mode and forgot to switch the AMRAM. By default, it takes Sidewinders. Where is this guy? Where'd he go? Uh, oh, I, oh, there he is. I see him. And he fired a missile. That's why whenever you can't see your bandit, you should just chaff and flare. More than likely, he sees you and he's fired a fox too. Probably saved my life there. Uh, we have one AMRAM remaining. I'm trying to get my nose on, but my F-16 is tremendously heavy. Unable to get lock here. Here we go. It's one mile. I gotta point the nose. Really gotta get this AMRAM to hit. Fox 3. There it goes. And. It missed. <laughs> okay, great. Didn't hit him. Okay, I'm now merged with a MiG 29. I'm tremendously heavy. It looks like he doesn't see me. He's turning away from me. Yes, look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get the gun kill right here. It's now or never. Yes, splash one. Yes, look at that. One of those went right center mass into him. There's the ejection. And splash one, make 29. Lucky there. Wasted a Sidewinder and an AMRAM on that guy. Look at this. I see something else on the horizon there. Something else is coming over here. I don't know what it is, but it's not friendly. Chaff and flare as we go by. He takes a gunshot. That's a MiG-21. Look at that. North Korean MiG-21 into the merge here. Very heavy F-16 and I got only guns. But lucky for me, MiG-21 is no match for an F-16. Even an F-16 that's this heavy. Should make quick work of a MiG-21. And unfortunately for this guy, he came to the merch. He should have took Fox 2 shots. But I don't think he saw me. Because I was kind of flying low. He was rushing over here because his other buddy got killed. You gotta commend the heroism. He came over here to help his buddy. And next thing he knows, he's merged with an F-16. And look at that. That's it. F-16 on his tail. MiG-21 is just no match. I mean, this is some of the worst gunner you're ever gonna see. <laughs> Alright, nice reversal there. But he's so slow, he can't do anything. 
he got slow to try to get me to overshoot, but it's not helping his cause. I come up behind him on his six here, and we'll finish the job. Whoop, that was basically a gun kill right there, but I didn't pull the trigger in time. There we go. <laughs> Finally got him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, ejection there. Splash one, make 21. All right. Uh, I think I need a refuel, man. This is uh, this was quite a fight. I wasn't expecting this much of a fight. Now I gotta deal with these SA2s and SA3s. Uh, there might be more fighters, but I don't think so. Got this SA2 locked up right here. Go ahead and increase altitude a little bit because I want to make sure the radar sees me so the harm has something to track. I want the harm to go smack this guy right in the face. Okay, let's send it here. Uh, Magnum. And we'll defend in case he shoots. Okay, defending here. Stay high altitude again because I want the SA2 to continue tracking me. Uh, it'll basically guarantee that harm sees him perfectly. Come on. It's always a scary patience game here with the harms. You gotta wait and wait and wait. It feels like an eternity. Oh, we hit him. Something got hit over there. And it looks like the harm actually hit him as he fired his missile. So, fantastic timing on that harm. Okay, our job is very much not done yet. There's an SA-3 around here. Yeah, he's spiking me right now. As soon as that, but it's, he's not coming up on my uh, HDS. My HDS pod is not seeing it. Harm targeting system. Uh, never mind, he's shooting at me. Surely the HDS pod sees him now. He's like over there somewhere, I think. Maybe a little bit further back. HDS pod only sees two search radars. That's the SA-2. It still doesn't see the SA-3, which is worrying because that means it's just going to shoot me and I'm not going to know where it's coming from. Yeah, you, see, you can see a bit of a smoke trail over there. Maybe it's over there. Let's go ahead and turn around. There's a bunch of flak here too, a bunch of AAA shooting at me. Not a whole lot just yet. I'm kind of just staying outside of the, you know, possible area where there is a lot of AAA and those SAM sites because I want to try to kill this SA-3 site before I really push in any deeper. I feel like that's a smart move. Uh, look at that. SA-3 actually comes up on HTS pod now. Uh, having a little bit of trouble locking him up though. There we go. Got him. And he shot at me. Magnum. We'll defend. Oh, lots of AAA. Got shot in the face there by AAA. 
defending here. Pulling away, reducing altitude. And hopefully that harm finds him. Uh, whether he does or not doesn't matter. I have nothing else to do to shoot at that SA-3, so I'm gonna have to push in. We're gonna drop these uh, 2,000 pounders on those ballistic missiles. Take out this North Korean ballistic missile site. I don't even have eyes on it yet. I'll find it. And there's some buildings there as well. I'll get it. SA-3 is still operational. Look at that. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's just what I need. And there's a lot of AAA. A lot of AAA out here. Alright. I'm trying to fly somewhat evasively. Also very fast. The faster you are, the harder you are to hit for AAA. Okay. Looking for... I see him. It's right there. I'm not sure if there's enough AAA out here for the North Koreans. That's <laughs> so much. Alright, line this up perfectly. This is where we're going to be most vulnerable. Pickle. And we're off. Pulling hard. And perfect hit. Nice. Lots of AAA here. That really pissed them off. They did not like that. Rolling over the top here. Trying to fly evasively once again. Very vulnerable right now to the AAA, AAA fire. And there's a lot of it. Wow, look at this. Wow, that's a lot of AAA. <laughs> SA-3 is targeting me too. That's it for me. That's one successful F-16 mission, and I don't want to push our luck anymore. So let's get out of here. That's a solid day's work for an F-16.